So in this short video, we're going to go through a shrinkage estimation example. So let's say we're given this rectangular section that's 20 inches high by 10 inches wide and has a length of 240 inches. Let's say it's moist cured for one day. It has a rel it's in a climate with a relative humidity of 80%. Uh, the concrete had an initial slump of 4 inches, and the concrete has 40% of its uh, total aggregate is fine aggregate. Um, so the first thing that we'll do is uh, we're going to need the volume to surface area ratio. So let's calculate that first. So the volume of the section we can find is just 20 inches times 10 inches times 240 inches. And if we do the math there, we'll get that to be 4,800 or 48,000 rather inches to the third. Our surface area then is the 20 inches times 10 inches for our ends times 2 and then we need to add in the length which is uh, 240 inches times the perimeter which the perimeter involves two 20 inch sides and two 10 inch sides and we'll get that uh, length to be 14,800 square inches so then we'll find our volume to surface area ratio to be 3.24 inches. So now we're ready to uh, go through and calculate all of our different factors. So we can find our factors using the tables. Uh, since we're doing hand calcs, we'll use the tables where we can. And where we can't, we'll use uh, the equations. So first, looking at the uh, curing conditions we see for a one day moist cure our factor is 1.2 and we can see this in table uh, 2.5.3 next looking at the relative humidity we'll see for that an 80 percent relative humidity will have a factor of 0 0.6 and we got that from table uh, 254 uh, next, we can calculate our volume to surface area ratio, which this will use the equation. So 1.2 times E to the negative 0 0.12 times our 3.24 that we found above. And if we run the numbers there, we'll get that to be 0 0.813. Uh, so the last couple factors we'll need uh, are the factor taking into account the slump, which is just 0.89 plus 0 0.041 times 4 inches, which was our slump, and we'll get that factor to then be 1.054. And then finally, our factor to take into account the amount of fine aggregate, which is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.014 times 40 uh, for a 40% 40 fine. And this will be 0 0.86. Uh, so then I'll, I'll move to the top so that we can finish here. We can calculate our ultimate strain. So our strain at ultimate is then going to be equal to all of our factors. So our factor accounting for curing, factor for relative humidity, factor for volume to surface area ratio, factor for the uh, slump, factor for the fine aggregates. So all of these factors times uh, 780 microstrain. And this we can uh, call shorthand as our shrinkage factor, which in this case we'll find to be 0 0.531. And then we can find that our ultimate strain uh, will be 414 microstrain. So this will be our final answer. Uh, we can also use this strain to find uh, shrinkage at any time, and uh, we can talk about that in a later video.